With so much going on in the world and so many people understanding that there's more to them than just the physical reality, we have a huge rise in the understanding and concept that many of us are empaths. Um, an empath by definition, at least a definition from a professional psychic and healer, is someone that feels everything around them, is in tune with the world, um, sometimes out of tune with themselves, and can feel what's going on around them. Uh, empath is connected to one of your psychic senses, the psychic sense of feeling, whether it's uh, physically feeling or um, kinesthetically feeling what's going on around you. And so I thought I'd put together a little bit of a list about some traits that might make you an empath. Now it's a huge list and I can't cover it all in this video, but if you like it, then I'll make another one about being an empath. So one of the biggest things about being an empath is that you feel everything going on around you. You tend not to like crowds of people and you may sense and pick up everything going on around you. It might even make you feel slightly claustrophobic. Another thing about being an empath is not only do you feel what's going on around you, is you absorb it. Uh, if you've ever been around anyone that makes you feel tired or drained, or you feel drained going out into public, or especially if you go out into public in the wrong place, you will come home and feel very tired and exhausted from that, and it sometimes takes you a long time to recover. Another thing that's very interesting about empaths is because they're so absorbent and because they're so sensitive, uh, they often have a lot of physical illness and sometimes that physical illness is something that cannot be explained. You might have physical pain in their body or symptoms of something, but you go to the doctor and they can't tell you what it is. Uh, very often, they often tie it to an autoimmune disease. A lot of empaths can um, have that happen happen to them and are, have that going on in their body. So mystery, pain, and illness a lot of times is from being an empath. Another thing about being an empath is sometimes you have so much empathy for everyone, you feel everything they're feeling, and you don't know where you end and somebody else begins. Uh, if somebody is sad or upset about something, you know what's going on with them, um, and you feel it too. You take it on for them. And in that regards, you probably have an extremely high level of people telling you their problems. You may find that just out of the blue, somebody comes up to you and tells you what's wrong with them or talk about an issue with them and you absorb it. And also you're intuitively able to help them. In fact, you might say or do something that's incredibly comforting for them. Um, another sign about being an empath is that you have to spend a lot of time alone and particularly either in nature or with animals. Uh, these sort of things really help you clear your energy field out. They make you feel balanced. They make you feel calm. There's nothing else quite like it. Um, it's not about watching television or reading a book. It's about communing with nature and reabsorbing the natural positive energy. And finally, one thing about being an empath is that you might find that you have some trouble with boundaries, saying no to people, feeling bad for them, listening to their story, and sometimes being manipulated by them is definitely something an empath is susceptible to. So one thing an empath always has to learn how to do is set very strong and firm boundaries, which is very hard for them. And unfortunately, a lot of empaths are forced to sort of karmically come up against a lot of narcissists assist. And so the, those sort of very difficult types of people really help you learn how to be strong and say no and actually read the situation before it happens. Not to worry though, if you're an empath, you usually are a natural healer. You're somebody that lots of people like to be around. You're very caring, you have a very open heart, and you're very highly intuitive. And so it's best to learn as an empath how to manage yourself and take care of yourself and even utilize your skill set in a super positive way. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Beth Ann Kennedy. Follow me at pinkhearthealing.com or on all forms of social media. If you have any other questions or you want me to talk about any other topics intuitively, psychically, empathically, whatever, just leave it in the comments and I'll make a video about it. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.